So we're going to start with the universal solvent, the molecule that all of these reactions happen, have to take place in, and that's H2O. And as you know, I'm sure, all biochemical reactions and all of the reactions that we're going to talk about are going to take place dissolved in water. And so for H2O, as you are all infinitely well aware, we know that H2O, I'm just going to write here the concentration of water, right, is in some equilibrium with a proton and a hydroxide anion, right, where the hydroxide anion is, of course, the conjugate base, right? And we can simply define an equilibrium constant for this, which is equal to simply the equilibrium constant as traditionally reflected, concentration of H2O. Now, what does this mean, the concentration of H2O? That, of course, is just how many moles of water there are in one liter of water, which is simply equal to 1,000 grams, because that's how much mass there is in a liter of water, and divided by the molecular weight of water, which is 18 grams per mole. And so this is going to be 55.5 molar. That's why I said all biochemical reactions have to occur in 55 molar H2O. And so we, can, we know what this equilibrium constant is, right? We know that this equilibrium constant is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the minus 16 molar. That means that there's not very much dissociation. And so we can now define a new constant, which we'll call KW, which is just KEQ times the concentration of H2O. That's simply 1.8 times 10 to the minus 16 molar times 55.5 molar. And if we do that, that turns out to be equal to, of course, 1.00 times 10 to the minus 14 molar squared. And this must be equal to, of course, the concentration of protons times the concentration of hydroxide anions, okay? Now, because, of course, the concentration of protons and the concentration of hydroxide anions are equal from the dissociation of water, right? That is, we know that H plus has to equal OH minus. We simply have to take the square root of this in order to find, of course, that the concentration of protons in one liter of water is equal to one times 10 to the minus seven molar, right? And because this is cumbersome, we will take the logarithm to the base 10 minus the logarithm to the base 10 of the concentration of protons. And that, as you know, is simply equal to the pH. And that implies that our pH for one liter of water is exactly 7.0, okay?